Hello everyone, my name is Ishan Beg. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the custom authentication uh, in Oracle Apex application. These days I am working on an Apex application and uh, one of the use case came that uh, to authenticate from a user's account from the database table. So how to achieve this? Let's see the basic requirement. First of all, uh, we will create a table which contains a username and the passwords of all, all uh, users. And uh, see, I have uh, entered two rows in this table. My users, called my users. One is Tom, the password is secret, and the big is Oracle. And uh, for authentication, I, uh, with the apex it is required one uh, database function which will return a boolean value and uh, when we will pass a parameter of username and password it will authenticate with the database and uh, return a boolean true or false if it's authenticated you have to return true if not the either case so what this function is actually doing it's create or replace function the name of the function validate user from db taking two parameters and returning a boolean variable here i'm just selecting this any value from my users table with the username matching and the password matching and this is apex uh, util uh, authentication result is actually apex api uh, which uh, set the specific message in the background uh, we will see detail in later and uh, after if this query runs successfully the function will return true if it's false it will exception will occur no data found and apex upl ati we are passing parameter number four and the function will return false so what these parameters are basically these are predefined parameters <coughs> here you can see the list excuse me uh, zero means that normal successful authentication if you want to uh, check other criteria like log expiration of the password account locking and the maximum login attempt so you can pass the different error numbers to this uh, procedure and uh, it will return the re ap appropriate message for it so I uh, for time saving I have already created this in my database here we can see and you can see I have two records Tom's and Bake and uh, to be noticed I am not uh, checking password with any function upper or lower so it will be case sensitive so let's go to create any application and here I created a little peel SQL procedure to check the our function test our function actually and I'm passing it a big Oracle and when I press run it's it gives me a uh, Okay, anyways, let's go. I think we should run. Yes, it's it's returning okay. So let's create new application in Apex and we will authenticate with our custom method. So I will just create a basic one page application. custom app I'm giving a name and we'll add a home page one level of tabs no share components and here we are selecting the uh, currently the authentication schemes by default are three uh, apl application app express no authentication or database account you can change 
and we will create our custom authentication right now we are taking application express so it will create a login page automatically and we'll taking a first theme so our custom app is ready with one home page and a login page automatically when I will run it will ask for some username and password I have to enter some I hope I have created this demo in application yes it's working with the uh, Oracle Apex authentication scheme but we now looking to change with the different scheme so let's go to uh, shared components we will go to shared components and here we have security under security we have authentication schemes by default you know we have three authentication schemes and this one is the current now we will create a new and create press the create button and we'll create from the scratch we we'll give it a name like custom db custom db authentication for example and you can write your comments here this is different uh, you can read the description this is not important which step is important for us is the authentication function here so we'll accept all the default and uh, there you go this a uh, here we will define that uh, use my custom authentication function to authenticate and here the main step is we have to write return and our function name validate from db i think validate user from db yes validate underscore user from db you can see uh, information from here also that uh, how you should uh, uh, make a procedure which return boolean variable or something all default now this uh, custom authentication is created and uh, but we have to set to our application so we'll go to this change current option tab and we'll select the current authentication to as custom db authentication and here we have to click if we want to switch this page to automatically use from db save our time and let's run our page now I have to log out first now if I run the demo demo it will give me the error because you can see invalid login credentials and I if I use my other from the database table I will move back to this home page with my DB user and that's very simple and here like uh, if I put a small case password of Tom it should not accept yet you can see if I this is case sensitive so Hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Feel free to comment on the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.